Hey, 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 you guys. I am back with another video. And today we're talking all about seven to eight hygiene tips, feminine hygiene tips that'll help you smell good all day. So if any of that intrigues your little mind, keep on watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of fun on this channel. We talk a lot about self-care, hygiene, life advice, and just a little bit of everything in between that. So like I said, if any of that intrigues your little mind, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and let's jump right into it, shall we? All right, y'all know I love talking about ways to smell good. And the first thing that I'm gonna show you on how to keep your feminine hygiene up a notch, keep you smelling fresh, make sure when you washing your face, you do not forget to wash behind your ears. I take my toner that I'm currently using or whatever you have, I take my toner and I take a cotton pad and make sure I put either soap or something back there when I'm washing my face. Cause usually when I wash my face, I just take the soap, the soap lather from my face and put it behind my ears. And then I take my cotton swab and then I just clean on the inside. Usually I take a um, Q-tip, which I know they always say Q-tips are not good, but you know me, I'm hard-headed. It's a creature of old habit. Been doing it since I was a little kid. So, so make sure you watch behind your ears because you'll be surprised and amazed at how your behind your ears can get to smelling like cheese because you know you got oils from your hair especially us ladies we have you know oils in our hair we have grease all that kind of stuff and you get to sweat in your hair so it's falling behind your ear and because your ear is such a closed off space it can smell like some stinky moldy cheese you ever went to hug somebody and you smell close to their ear and it smells bad, it's probably because they're not washing behind their ears. It's a lot that go into smelling good. Everything on you has its own way of you taking care of it. So that's number one, making sure you wash behind your ears good. Number two, number two, how you can stay fresh all day. Feminine hygiene tip number two, Make sure when you are washing your behind, make sure you're not only just using tissue, make sure you use something else. I have three options here for you. And if you missed my last video, I talked about these two right here. But the first one is these flushable wipes. These is the Equate Walmart brand. Let's just face it, tissue is not gonna get you clean, especially if you're doing more than pee. It's not going to get you clean. It's going to leave little straps and it's going to leave little crumbs and you're going to be sitting in some nastiness because tissue just, it just, just not meant to get you clean. So what I like to do is take those flushable wipes or my latest concoction. I have these Dixon's Original Witch Hazel Refresh, Refresh, Refreshing Cleansing Cloth and I've been using them, you guys. Y'all know I've been using my stuff. They smell amazing when you want to get, and these are the butt wipes that I was talking about that I got. They smell just like lavender and they are flushable as well. So when you have to do more than do number two, make sure you go in with some form of white because it's wet and it's going to pick up anything that you missed. And if you're at home like me, you work from home, then what you can do is take you a warm washcloth Get you some Irish Spring, because I know I always talk about that Irish Spring. I'm going to get you right back there. Now, be gentle back there, because it's sensitive, just like your lady part in the front. It's sensitive, too, so you don't want to end up cutting yourself with your fingernails or something, because you're washing too harshly. But make sure you take your time and clean back there, because I'm telling you, that stitch back there in the back ain't no joke. So make sure you wash it. And when you're washing, ladies, I know we're all grown here, but it doesn't help to remind you. Wash from front to back. Front to back. You do not want to bring anything from the back up to the front. That's nasty. You can set up infections, all kinds of stuff, germs and everything. So wash front to back, you guys. And make sure when you're washing with the wipes, make sure the wipe is completely white before you stop cleaning. Because if it's still got little crumbs or some brown or something like that you need to go back in there and wash it again so that's number two and then number three is um switch out your pillowcases and believe it or not i'm guilty of this you guys can y'all tell where i be sleeping at? and your pillowcase because you sweat at night especially with your hair that's why i have my my silk bunny but i'm gonna have to get another one you guys because this thing don't stay on my head worth of nothing but 
a silk bonnet will help keep your hair from breaking because y'all know I told you I had been struggling with my edges because I went and tied my hair up at night. I ain't gonna lie, I was just being lazy, get off work, take my shower, and get in the bed. But I noticed I sweat a lot in my sleep. So I'm constantly turning my face on my pillow. So it's advised, y'all know I be researching, it's advised to change your pillowcases every couple of days because you sweat when you sleep. And if you land on it with your hair, that's oils. And you may be wondering why you're breaking out on your face. That could be the reason why. And anytime you're sweating at night and then you get up, that's a part of your hygiene too. So I got to do better with this one because I change my bed things, linens once a week. But I see now I'm going to have to go get me some more pillowcases. And I don't really like sleeping on silk pillowcases and silk sheets. That, it irritates me because it moves too much. But I'm going to have to do something about my hair because, y'all, I got to... I can't be letting my edges come out. And because I hadn't been sleeping with my bonnet on at night, the, the cotton pillowcases has been really messing with my edges. I can't be letting my edges go on vacation. I need them to stick around with me. So, yeah, so that's that. And then the fourth um, tip on how you can, uh, the fourth feminine hygiene tip on how you can smell your absolute best all day is to make sure you're flossing because believe it or not, when you eat and that stuff, that food stays caked up in between your teeth, it says, that's how you have bad breath. And so I like these little placards you can get these for a dollar and twenty five at the Dollar Tree, or just regular old floss, and try to floss as often as you can, at least twice a day. Because anytime you leave that food, especially when you lay down at night and you haven't brushed your teeth, I know how I have been guilty of not doing my full routine at night because I'd be tired. But making sure you brush your teeth and floss good, that can help you prolong your. Uh, longevity of your teeth because that food can set up in between your teeth and build up cavities. That's how you get cavities. So make sure you're flossing really well every every day, at least twice a day. And then the next feminine hygiene tips is make sure you are scraping your tongue. These are some tongue scrapers that my mom sent me. She sent me a big box, a goodie box at least once a month. And they have a lot of these in there. So, and then changing your toothbrushes out Every, I think, I want to say it's every three three months you're supposed to change out your toothbrush because, believe it or not, it gets germs over time. And then for a tongue scraper, you know you need to be scraping that tongue because that's where most of your germs are. So when you go and talk to people and hug somebody, your breath is going to meet them before you even get in their facility. So make sure you are scraping that tongue because I'm telling you, be amazed that the junk that be on that tongue, that stuff, it freaks me out because I'm like, Oh God, you made kissing and everything. That's and it's beautiful. But it just make me a little antsy because I'm like, I hope he got great oral hygiene and body hygiene as well. But brushing that tongue, you guys. Oh Lord. Get that tongue, you guys. And you can get these super inexpensive from Walmart. You can get it from Amazon. But I like these because, hey, they're free. My mom sent them to me, so I use them on a regular. And then the next thing is, in between you using your own mouthwash, use peroxide and saline um, um, uh, water as mouthwash. Because that peroxide going to get a lot of them germs out of your mouth, too. So it's a reason why I think, because I grew up around older mothers, uh, when I was younger and then my mom too and my grandmothers and my great aunts and all them, they always had home remedies and stuff. And at this age, I really take heed to them because I mean, I grew up on them. So you wouldn't have to worry about if we run out of, uh, ooh, praise God, praise God, excuse me. Y'all see this? It's so beautiful. Mm. Thank you, baby. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Woo! Mmm. Praise God. This is my happy space. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, you guys, I'm back. 
I had to give me a little ice there a little bit. But my last and final feminine hygiene tip on how you can smell good um, all day is make sure you wash your belly button. Believe it or not, your belly button have an odor and it can get nasty if you don't get in there. I have an any, especially since having my children. But every time I'm in the shower, I always take that rag and go up in there. And then when I get out the shower, I take like a little Q-tip and put like a little alcohol or a little witch hazel on there and clean up and around there because you'd be amazed. And I'm trying to see my belly button. I told you, it's a, it's a any since having my babies, but you'd be amazed at the stuff that comes out of your um, belly button if you're not clean it on a regular basis it can have an odor um you you if you if any if you guys are mothers then you know what i'm talking about you know when the baby is born they have that that little button thing still on them till it falls off well it's a lot of gunk that's inside of there and that stuff smells so just imagine being an adult and you don't clean your belly button that stinks that's a part of your hygiene too every little nick and crevices on your body is a part of hygiene so if you're not taking care of every inch and nick and crevices then you're setting yourself up to have an odor and, and you know you know i don't want y'all y'all ladies going out like that you know you know that's very dear to me i guess i keep telling y'all when things happen to you in your childhood sometimes it traumatizes you but I want you guys to smell your absolute best out here, especially in these hot summer months. Well, really any time, 365 days a year. But I hope that this video bless you guys. I hope it helps you in some way. Leave me um, a comment below and let me know what some of your tips are on how you stay fresh all day. And share with the other sunshines on the channel. And we are close to 2,000, you guys. Remember, it is going to be a big giveaway. I haven't mailed out a giveaway in a long time and it's overdue. So I figured what better time than when we reach 2K. So um, thank you guys for watching. God bless and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.